What is this wooden statue with a square hole in the back I bought in a second-hand shop? It's roughly 25 centimeters tall, or 10 inches. And the weight indicates that it is solid wood. It smells like any kind of tobacco. But I'm mostly looking for an explanation of the square hole in the back. Did this ever have a purpose? It's a wooden dog clothes brush holder from the 1930s. It holds brushes that you would use to brush some hair away from your clothes or shoes. But the brushes are missing. My granny had a similar dog with brushes, and the hole seems way too similar. Also, similar spot. What is this wooden object found in the backyard when I moved? It looks the same on the front and back, and is attached to a metal base. It is about 50 pounds, six and a half feet tall. The wood is rather rough and splinters off, and it looks pretty weathered. Any ideas? It's an early 19th century Dogon wood ladder from Burkina Faso. The Dogon people are an ethnic group that primarily resides in the Bandiagara Escarpment region of Mali, West Africa. They have a rich cultural heritage and are known for their intricate woodwork, including the famous Dogon ladders. They are traditionally handcrafted by Dogon artisans using locally available materials. These ladders are often made from the wood of the she tree, which is abundant in the region. The Y shape of the Dogon ladder is both functional and symbolic. This design allows for stability and easy climbing. The ladders are typically used to access rooftops, granaries, and other elevated structures within the Dogon villages. Symbolically, the Y shape of the ladder represents the Dogon cosmology and their belief system. Today, Dogon ladders are sought after as decorative items and collector's pieces due to their unique design and cultural significance. I bought this antique bucket of some sort, listed as a mining bucket, but the seller didn't really know. It was bought in a mountain town in Colorado from Craigslist, about 20 by 30 inches, lightweight, and constructed with rivets. There's no maker's mark that we've found. There are crossbars on the opening with hangers attached. It's too light to be iron and too heavy to be aluminum. It's magnetic, but it's a very weak attraction. Anyone got a good idea? I have one of these, but of wooden construction. It's a 19th century well bucket. The bottom is shaped so the bucket will tip sideways when it reaches the water, allowing the bucket to fill. If it has a flat bottom, the bucket could float on the surface of water in the well. What is this circular metal object with a hinged glass lid and a black rubber rim on the base? There are no text or markings and it came from a collection of old knickknacks. So I would guess that it's 50 plus years old, but I have no info to go on. What is this thing? It's a brass porthole ashtray from the 1940s. It's made like a real working porthole with a rubber ring at the base to keep it from sliding around if you use it on a boat. What is this strange tray with a small dish riveted in it and two holes for mounting to something? It was hanging out in a house for who knows how long and was discovered after a move and was packed with other miscellaneous items. It is made out of magnetic material, a banana for a scale. Any idea what it is for? At first, it looks like a sommelier's wine tasting dish. But after a few more digging, you're gonna love what I found. It's an egg separator made around the 60s. The little cup is to hold the yolk while you pour off the whites. Possibly made in England by the TG Green Limited. What are these little buildings at an old farm? We just bought an old farmhouse, originally built in 1891. We have no idea what these little buildings are or what they're for. They're pretty small, just a few feet square, but they have a couple of windows each and a door to enter. A friend suggested well houses, but they're completely empty inside. Dirt or concrete floors, but completely empty. One is near the barn and made of wood, and one is behind the house and made of brick. Thanks in advance. The second building looks like it might have functioned as a milk house, assuming that is a barn beside it. Used before the days of widespread home refrigeration, that's where the milk would be stored for the daily pickups from town. 
It needed to be located outside of the barn that actually housed the cows, not only to comply with the agricultural laws at the time, but to keep it cool and avoid unnecessary exposure to germs. The type of milk house is actually where we get the term grade ABC in relation to the milk you can get from the store, and the grades were based on various amenities that could be added. That is fully wired with refrigeration to non-existent electricity with a pit dug into the dirt floor. What is this metal handle that turns the two opposite threads in and out like a rigging screw, but has two spring-loaded jaws that look like it grips railroad tracks? Cast on the handle is Niswanda Manufacturing Company, Quincy, Illinois, and patented, but no numbers, date, or anything. I tried Googling every combination of the cast words to no avail. The whole thing is the size of a small dog like a Jack Russell or a large rat. There's also a matchbox I included for scale. Any idea what this is and what it is used for? It's a demountable rim remover. It compresses the rim for tire mounting. Patented August 6th, 1918 by John L. Niswander of Quincy, Illinois. The grippers are pushed to hook over the demountable rim. The wheel is rotated to adjust the rods towards each other. By using this device, the demountable rim may be contracted from one to four inches. What is this non-functional ceramic about two feet by 10 inches wall mounted in a hallway with some kind of faucet? It is located on the third floor of the Biltmore Hotel in Greensboro, North Carolina. It appears to be original to the building. It's in a hallway, so not a urinal, and no water comes out of the faucet. Any ideas? It's a cuspidor for spitting into. Very common back in the day when chewing tobacco was popular. Here's a modern version. The Biltmore Hotel started as an office building in 1903. It transformed into a hotel in the 60s. We had an identical one upstairs in the old farmhouse I grew up on, built circa 1915. What is this solid wood with numbers like 210 and six and three quarters on it? The inside is black, but it doesn't smell burnt. My friend's parents inherited it along with a shaker looking hutch but I don't know whether they're related. It's just under eight inches wide and five inches tall. I couldn't tell you what wood it's made from since oak should be a lot heavier for a solid piece like this. There are also small nail holes circling the outside around the top. Any idea what this thing is? Please tell us down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.